Hey YouTube, it's Cape Cod Cuda. Uh, the other day, if you've seen in some of my videos, I had left, this light was on my car when I bought it, and I didn't take it off when I, when I painted the car. Some overspray had gotten on it. I kind of felt bad about that. These are a little expensive. Uh, they don't make them aftermarket, the tail lights. And, uh, so I figured I'd clean it up. I took it off the car. I knew if I took a, like a, uh, SOS bill of, uh, steel wool to it, it would clean up real nice. So, and with a little, uh, paint thinner, uh, that it, it'd come clean. So that's what I did. I cleaned it all up, some paint thinner, and, uh, Actually, I used mineral spirits. Uh, mineral spirits and a steel wool pad. And uh, it cleaned up real nice. All the paint came off. It has pitting and stuff. And it had some some corrosion pitting through the chrome. That was kind of hot, you know, high up. Made like little uh, peaks. And they were kind of sharp because of the chrome. And uh, I took a steel little wool. Uh, brush, brass brush, this one right here, and uh, scraped at it. It's a brass little brush. I got it at Harbor Freight, and I scrubbed at it and stuff like that. And uh, this is like the steel wool stuff that I use. I have this bag of steel wool, and. Uh, So I use that too to get in all the little cracks to get the paint out because again I painted them and uh, I took the whole light apart. This is the light right here. I cleaned all the, the lenses and stuff. This one has, this is an inside, inside the uh, light. It has a, uh, a burn mark from a, a bulb and there's a crack in it. This sits inside like this. Again, this is 68 Barracuda tail light. These screws, all these, uh, oops, the light actually had cracks in it. And when I was cleaning it, those two pieces fell out. Um, they're just starting to make these in reproduction. They're a little expensive. Upwards to six, seven hundred dollars for a set of tail lights for the '68 Barracuda. And you see, I still have some paint on them. But uh, and these were all chrome. Uh, they kind of got blackened because what I did was, after I cleaned them as best as I could with the steel wool and the paint thinner, and. Uh, I took them with some uh, distilled white vinegar and I put it in this vat right here, this tote, this tub, with the wrong cover and I threw that on top of it and I just filled it up with some water and I stuck everything in there and uh, I let them sit in there for a couple of days, two or three. I didn't really keep tabs on it. And uh, it smoothed out all the pitting. All the high spot pittings are gone now. Uh, it took all the corrosion away. And vinegar, vinegar and steel, it stops rust corrosion. And uh, vinegar does. So that's why I kind of threw it in there. This isn't, this is some kind of potted metal. And uh, it, it smoothed it all out nice and smooth. Right there is really smooth. Um, this was the worst, worst area I had right, right in there. I don't know if you see it, but I mean, it really made it real nice and smooth.
these could be cleaned up even more but I just wanted to share that someone wanting to store some pitted metal um, like a taillight bezel or something like that uh, this took it right down to nothing uh, I mean you if you really wanted a smooth finish you could fill in these little where the chrome is or something no you could probably just re-chrome it at this point um, if you went and got like a, a toothbrush or something like that you could clean it up even more this is separated it's supposed to be attached that separated when I took it off the car um, right here you can see some of the corrosion parts I don't know if the sun's too much right there it really made it nice wow it looks real it looks like it Oh, that's the orange motor reflecting on it. I was like, what's that reflection? Because it looked like rust. It's, uh, it's actually got reflection now. Um, came out good. I'm happy with it, and that's why I'm showing it. Uh, I wish I had it before, but I didn't think it was going to do anything drastic like that. I just was trying to clean them. I didn't think that it was going to take all that pitting off, even though I kind of knew that the uh, the rust that the, the, the vinegar would remove rust I didn't think it was going to do that much to it uh, make it such an improvement Cape Cod Cuda signing out thanks for watching I hope this helps somebody uh, with some project that they're working on the, like this is this these buckets aren't in reproduction yet that I believe um, they just start to make a reproduction parts for the 68 Barracuda so stuff is really expensive and uh, You know I was able to make a driver out of this even though it's dented and stuff like that It still cleaned it up nice where I can put it back on the car and It's a nice uh, what 20 footer. Thank you for watching Cape Cod Cuda signing signing out